Assalamu alaikum students so welcome to lecture number 8 of advanced uh, nanomagnetism so in this lecture we will learn about the magnetic relaxation in the zero field cool and field cool protocols so uh, initially we will start with some theory consider n uniform magnetized spherical particles with a giant magnetic moment m is equal to ms multiplied by v per particle with ms is the saturation magnetization and v is the volume of the particle in this diagram uh, this is actually in the presence of applied magnetic field b uh, the the two level uh, two level energy barrier is disturbed due to the applied field and applied field is in the direction is, uh, of the a a energy axis and you can see <coughs> we, we have two types of uh, populations uh, in the sample uh, one uh, along the ac along the uh, applied field and the other one uh, opposite to the applied field so we will have two kinds of energy levels energies one is the e1 and the second one is e2 so the relaxation time the particles can go from e1 to e2 is tau plus and from e2 to e1 uh, is tau minus so therefore the p particles capital p particles are those which are uh, oriented along or, or oriented along the uh, b magnetic field b and the n minus p are the particles which are anti parallel to the b so n capital n uh, is, is the total number of particles so for a vanishing potential barrier es and vanishing magnetic field if there is no magnetic field the there is no preference of population p and uh, spin up and spin down the magnetization uh, will be zero because there will be equal number of population for uh, spin up and spin down so this is called unblocked state or super paramagnetic state so <coughs> however even for a finite barrier this super paramagnetic state can be restored if thermal energy is high enough to overcome the barrier and thermal equilibrium is maintained if the barrier potential barrier is larger than the thermal energy thermal energy is less than the barrier then the population can cannot be changed uh, until the es minus e2 becomes um, uh, smaller than the kvt so the following great equation is important uh, uh, in which uh, uh, the change of p particles with time is equal to the n minus p uh, over tau minus which is the relaxation time of these particles minus uh, the, uh, minus p over relaxation time of these t plus for the change in uh, spin down particles with time the rate equation is the following p over t over plus minus n minus p over tau minus so we have to uh, understand this uh, rate equations that how the population is changing with uh, with time uh, for these particles so the rate equation for the total magnetic moment will be m uh, capital m is equal to m small m is the magnetic moment of each particle multiplied by 2p minus m actually this is the uh, particles which are along the uh, field actually these this is the p minus n minus p so we will get uh, uh, 2p minus n the number of particles which are aligned in the direction of m so uh, from the difference of uh, previous two equations uh, we can find out uh, uh, the uh, dm over dt change in every this with time and uh, this is a equals to this above equation after uh, uh, taking the derivative and if we 
want a steady state magnetization m naught uh, uh, which is at time t is equal to zero when we switch off the field and allow our allow our particles to relax to uh, move in their anisotropy direction it can be found by putting dm over dt is equal to uh, zero so uh, m naught uh, we can derive from this relation is equal to this second relation so any deviation from this steady state or for the starting value of m magnetization m m1 is the starting magnetization and m naught is the magnetization when time when we just switch off the field so uh, we can see the m uh, as a function of time is uh, equal to m naught plus bracket m1 minus m naught multiply exponentially decreasing with exponentially decreasing with time where tau is uh, uh, written and you can see so this is actually the uh, like uh, uh, equation between the magnetization and the time okay, that how magnetization uh, relaxes with time so uh, actually uh, the magnetic relaxation is usually measured as a function of time so we have to take curve between uh, magnetization and time so this can be done uh, by two methods two protocols one is the field cool magnetization versus time curve and the second is zero field cool magnetization versus time curve so time dependent magnetization gives us information about the relaxation of huge core spin which is uh, which can be disturbed by the surface anisotropy and interparticle interaction and we can uh, uh, study about the spin glass behavior in these particles so how we can get the field cool magnetization curves were, uh, were with time uh, the, so we should know how to experiment this do uh, how to experiment uh, handle this uh, curves so uh, first it will be plotted between m and t t will be time just time uh, your time uh, and first cool the samples in the nanoparticles from room temperature to the desired temperature and a small applied field. So, is, uh, we already know that the, uh, the applied field should be strong, uh, small because it should not disturb the energy barrier of the nanoparticles. After cooling within the field and, and below the blocking temperature, uh, at desired temperature, you can uh, fix your temperature and then switch off that small field and take. And the magnetization uh, versus time curve and normally it is taken for three four hours due to restriction of time and from that curve uh, we can uh, find uh, relaxation time of the estimated relaxation time of the nanoparticles so here is example of field cool relaxation curve you can understand that this curve is between m and t and uh, this black uh, um, black circle is the experimental curve where, uh, at time t is equal to zero which you have switched off the field and just we have measured the uh, magnetization uh, uh, after every minute uh, uh, so uh, you can see the magnetization is uh, uh, going down because we have switched off the field so uh, the shape of this curve is very important to understand the magnetization system if the shape of this curve is very sharp means it's decaying very sharp and going to zero this is particularly for the paramagnetic system and if this curve uh, has uh, uh, has some slope and it's flattened out uh, to some remnants so it is uh, for the some uh, uh, ferromagnetic or ferromagnetic system so <coughs> the shape of the curve uh, uh, gives us information about the relaxation. If the <coughs> if it is not very uh, steep, if not uh, uh, if not very uh, decaying very quickly, uh, then uh, it is uh, this is uh, hint for the some uh, uh, surface disorder or <coughs> interparticle interaction within the system, which. Uh, makes hurdle in their magnetic relaxation towards their anisotropy axis and the, the red curve is the fitted curve 
uh, of uh, this equation we have already studied and from that fitting uh, we can uh, find some fitting parameter and you can see tau the relaxation time beta is the shape constant how this works so and the uh, t is the temperature at which we have taken the curve for this the temperature was uh, constant so how we can take the zero field cool magnetic curve versus time so first we cool the nanoparticles similarly from the room temperature to desired temperature to the below ball blocking temperature but under zero feet so at desired temperature uh, we have to fix the temperature and then switch on a small field and then take magnetic curve versus time so in this the magnetic will grow with time and the curve will be opposite to the field cool curve so it is all uh, normally taken for uh, three to four hours to find out the parameters involved in it and here you can see uh, two curves are presented which are same zero field cool not field cool but at different temperatures it is interestingly you can see that at um, 5 Kelvin we have a much growing of the magnetization with time which is uh, which shows the ferromagnetic effect in the sample which growing with time and also some hints of the spin glass system while at 25 Kelvin it's not so much growing uh, because we uh, the thermal energy is enough and also the magnetization is less and uh, we are going towards the more uh, paramagnetic or super paramagnetic region so uh, in this way uh, you can find out the zero field cool uh, and field cool magnetization curves which gives uh, very inform information about uh, the uh, magnetic relaxation the shape of the uh, curves is very important and I I suggest you to learn about the magnetic relaxations for the paramagnetic system, for the ferrimagnetic system, and other uh, 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 nano uh, nano systems to understand deeply uh, about this uh, phenomena, and it's very interesting for you. Allah Hafiz.